how this all works out. Then I have Weavile versus Suicune. That would be interesting. Fumu, his Weavile only comes out on rare occasions, so I always like to see as a little checkup on it, see how well it's doing. Let's see how Skizzard's Suicune um, goes up against it. Weavile does have a, um, the agility attack to go through projectiles. Let's see if he's Fumu's going to be able to make good use of that. Ooh, nice spacing by Fumu, um, getting out of the way of that counter attack. Ooh, here comes a combo. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Not countering the blizzard. Um, maybe just not racking in time quick enough. Oh man, max range sweeping grab. That's a pretty decently good range to it. It's just the problem is that it's so slow and not so much. Oh, Fumu. Oh, not able to quite land the ice trap the way he wanted to. But the homing attack charge did work out. So you're being a little bit hasty with the blizzard. Be a little bit more careful with that in the future. And there's a nice just grab up there. Fumi just not respecting Scissor's shield or counter. Oh, I didn't even see that. Scissor actually did land the ice trap. You see, when uh, we got him burst, more ice traps appear. It's really difficult for to get around. Nice grab reset there from Fumu. Scissor just on our last life and a bikini just for extra, extra damage. And he does a punish, yep, with the 8x there. Just gonna be taking a nice, nice, um, game one there. There's something interesting to note is that, um, Fumu has a very, uh, I would say bait and punish playstyle with a lot of his characters. And it's kind of, um, very apparent with his debuff considering, um, it's just, uh, he definitely, um, walks in and out. It's very really obvious that there's, uh, Weavile's, um, like, mobility. You see him kind of, like, weaving in and out. And also, you can notice that it's kind of a bit of, um, issue with Weavile is that the way, if you play that a bit too much, Weavile just doesn't have the quick burst damage that characters like, um, Blaze can have. So you can't, like, just do a whole bunch of damage and then back away. Weavile doesn't really have access to kind of, that kind of huge burst power. Uh, Fumu just trying to get in, but since he's jacked out, it's being a little bit too difficult to get, go through. That's now both plays going into burst. Fumu punishing. I believe that's punished. Aurora Beam is incredibly laggy. Oh, that's just that coming. And here's a double burst. I think Fumu's gonna win this. Or, okay, it's just a, um, another one wins. Ooh, I wonder if uh, Fumu's gonna pull out the nasty, um, JX stuff from the new update. Man, that's just barely reaching right there. It's gonna be a lot of damage. It's actually gonna take it. Skizzard's taking round two right there. All right. Man, I'm I'm really thinking Fumu should really just pull out the, the entire paper sack ensemble and just go Dragonite. That'd be that'd be the real real best decision here. The team just holding him back. Uh, he does have a crit boosted burst up now, so I'll be able to get much. But interesting that uh, Skizzard is using Whimsicott. Um, not quite sure how much utility it gets um, against Weavile. The only thing I can really imagine is Ice Crack and have a death out in. You know, ooh, is this gonna land? Ah, not quite. Alright, nice. The counter attacking the Hydro Pump. Ooh, laying straight in the blizzard. Fumu just trying to bait out options with his um, Ice Cold Crash and his mobility, walking back and forth and back and forth. And Fumu trying to get some normal frames there, I can respect that. Again, not respecting the, but, um, respecting the Blizzard a bit too much. That's a free counter attack and shielding it a bit too much and taking a lot of shit for it. Oh, not going to L punch with the Ice Cold Yeah, nice the wizard. Ooh, nice um spacing there by Funu. Able to avoid all those attacks. He's coming out. Funu just so close. And he, okay, he has first now. That's probably what he's trying to farm out for. And now it's gonna be a good situation for him. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, there we go. Funu predicting the grab attempt from Skizzers, and then he's gonna take that game one right there. Definitely doing it a lot more patient, and someone didn't reset the scores. <laughs> but 
but anyways, um, so yeah, definitely, um, Fumu using a much more push and a patient play style. So it took him almost the entirety of those rounds to whittle down Suikin's HP, who had the second highest amount of HP in the game. Yeah, it's definitely something to note. It's, I think it's a trait that carries over from his other characters, like especially Blaziken, where where if Bla ba Blaziken does bait and punish. This one punch is about <laughs> enough to do about half the opponent's health, but Weavile's punish is not quite as powerful in most situations. All right, so Skizzer's gonna be countering, uh, uh, um, getting rid of the Suikia and switching to Scizor. This will be interesting. Uh, I think she is. I think I heard her saying that. Um, She's been doing better with Sweeping out of the play, but let's see how her scissor does in this match here. Ooh, nice ice trap playing. Is he gonna be able to punish? Oh, not quite. I think he might have actually been able to if he fully committed to it, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, nice um delay there on the JX. Ooh, see this game a nice um hover chance X. Combo. Ooh, really able to land those ice traps pretty consistently. Pops Eevee for an attack boost, okay. Interesting choice. Ooh, just playing his distance, trying to make um, Skizzers overcommit. Ooh, okay, grabbing through the attacks there. Nice Thunder King call, using the invincibility to get out of that nasty situation. Ooh, okay, so we able to get a combo going here. Going through stand close the combo. Nothing too fancy. Ooh, I think trying to get a nice um fire for his face and just wasn't quite right. Um we thought his back dash isn't the greatest, I think. I think it's a pretty short, pretty short range for it is. Boom just blocks up first. Ooh, able to actually snag right there. Skizzers trying to back away a little bit with the counter attack. It's gonna suffer a lot of damage from that. I think is in the lead, going into this timeout. Ooh, but doesn't need it. Able to get the homie attack crit. Yeah. Be able to land that. So here we go. Fumu on match point now. Alright, so that's gonna do some nice damage right there. Fumu using Eevee might be um, a bit of a supplement to um, um, counterplay his. Uh, Lower damage output. Here we go, nice fury shot combo. Going for the full damage so much right there. So he's just getting a little bit too hasty with his grab there. That's going to burst. Puma got um, react with his own. And that is a punish right there. Yep, that is probably going to do it with a crit. Let's see. Um. Ah, oh, just enough. Skizzer's on her last little bit of health. We were trying to bait out the burst. Oh, but just barely misses it. Skizzer's just able to land just one one hit in there. He's gonna do a lot of damage, especially with the rage boost. Might be able to throw things in her favor, but it's still on her last legs. And there we go, that's a punish from Fumi right there. So there we go. Fumi taking it 2 0, but Skizzer's definitely showing some good some good plays in there. Okay, a little bit too hasty with her um 6x usage.